First of all, may I ask where are you guys from? So I'm from Italy. Italy? Yeah. Which part of Italy? Um, close to Milan. It's the north? Yes, in the oh, north. Okay. And how about you? I'm from England, also from the north of England. Okay. It's a city called Sunderland. And uh, is this your first time? For me, it's the first time in Japan. But it won't be the last. Oh, I come no, back. Okay. <laughs> what made you to come to Japan? So, I've been traveling Southeast Asia for the past six months, and uh -huh. then I have a friend here in Osaka, Japanese oh. friend, so I came to visit her. Uh -huh. And then I'm traveling through the country and exploring uh -huh. and meeting new travelers. <laughs> so, so, you came both together? Or no, no, no we separate? met yesterday oh, 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 in Kyoto. Okay, good. Yeah. I see, I see. And uh, so far, how many? I think I've spent five or six so far. Yeah. Uh, about two weeks, I two think. Weeks. Uh -huh. Nearly two weeks, yeah. You are flew into Osaka or? I flew into to... Osaka, yes. Oh, okay. You only take the in Osaka so far? Or... Uh, I mean, I've been based here, but I travel four days into Kyoto. Uh -huh. And then I went to Kobe uh -huh. to visit other traveler I met. Oh, I see. In Thailand. <laughs> and then I'm planning on going to Koyasan. Yeah, and then go to Tokyo and Hiroshima. Did you have like a special activity, like a Japanese activity or event? No, I feel like I've just been walking around, oh, sightseeing, okay. taking pictures. Okay. <laughs> Nothing uh, too special. I did. Oh, <laughs> good. Can you share I've been with to a that? festival. <laughs> Which festival? Um, oh. In close south of Osaka, in uh -huh. one smaller town, uh -huh. and they do every year. Uh -huh. And there is like a massive uh, kind of a uh, like a car, but uh, yeah, and they, they play, the they hold it, and uh -huh. they play, uh -huh. and then uh, they hold, hold like hold. these guys are holding these like uh -huh. woods, uh -huh. and it's very fun and exciting mm. to see. Uh, and they quickly. sing and they go up and down. Uh -huh. I think it's a basically it's a, like a small shrine. Yes, set, right. It's a. I mean, it's like very long uh, mm. wooden pieces, and like these guys are holding, and also the kids because it's just like the kids and the fathers they holding it, and then there's one guy singing, and there's one guy at the top, and this guy was holding an umbrella, oh, okay. and uh, they were playing the the drum. Drum. Mm. Yeah, and it was quite exciting for me oh. to see. Kishiwada? Is that the name of the city? Yeah, the, the Kishiwada is a pretty popular one. Okay. Uh, city, city mm. anyway. the name. I, I forgot the name. All of yeah. that. You know. <laughs> I was very excited about what everything yeah. was happening. <laughs> I think it's one of the crazy kind of uh, events that we yeah. have around Osaka. What kind of Japanese food have you tried? So uh, I don't know. You have it? Hard. No, I have, but oh. it's uh, just the names, the pronunciation. Well, you try it today. Uh, yeah, my, my favorite one was today, the Omanomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. I knew I'd mess it up, but yeah, uh -huh. Okonomiyaki. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. That was delicious, yeah. Do you have that kind of food in your country? Um, oh, well, I live in Shanghai, so I, I eat Chinese food quite a lot. Oh, you live in China? Yeah, I live in Shanghai. I'm oh, from England, oh, but Shanghai. I live in Shanghai now. Oh, yeah, I for see. The past four years. Um, so you work there? In yeah, yeah, oh. I work there. So I eat Japanese food quite a lot, I eat Chinese food quite a lot, uh -huh. and Korean food quite a lot. Yeah. Do, do they have Japanese food in Shanghai, very authentic ones? Or they do, um, and they try... Do some differences? Between There's you? definitely um, quality differences. I mean, it's very authentic. I think some of the people that work there are Japanese as well, and when you walk in, they do the whole Japanese greeting and the bowing and stuff, but um, the food quality, mm -hmm. It's definitely better in Japan. Maybe they convert a little bit for Chinese people. Yeah, Chi I don't know. It's just, or... I don't think it's it's the same, uh -huh. but different. Okay. <laughs> you know, quality is different. Uh, right. from the <laughs> yeah. ingredients or... Maybe it's just in my head. Mm -hmm. But a good example is those little octopus bowls. The oh, takoyaki. takoyaki. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So they have all those vendors all the way around Shanghai too. Uh -huh. But I had some today. On uh, that Don Donobuchi Street. Uh, Dotonbori? That's not the uh, pronunciation. Uh, it's so okay, bad. It's okay. But yeah, <laughs> incredible. Uh -huh. Way better than the ones in Shanghai. Oh. Yeah, and I can't describe why. Uh -huh. They were like bigger, just better, mm. fresher, mm. better quality. Yeah. You're from Italy. Mm -hmm. Spain. For us, it's a place of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and have you tried pizza in Japan? I haven't tried it yet, actually. Uh huh. Um, I'm so I curious. You know, I how yeah, I wanted to experience like the Japanese food because uh -huh. it's uh, it's just so good and fresh. Uh huh. So I haven't really. I didn't kind of feel the need of trying pizza here because. Uh, 
food here is just so good. Very healthy uh -huh. and fresh. What is your favorite? So I really love sushi, sushi. but I think okono oh, okonomiyaki. Uh, okonomiyaki was the best I tried so far. Oh. And then we tried different kind of, I tried different kind of ramen. Uh -huh. And I'm a big fan of ramen. I love ramen too. Oh. But there's, yeah, I don't know which one I like. There are a couple of types of broth mm. I can show you. Yeah. And also salt. So, mm -hmm. And also miso. Yeah, miso. Uh -huh. And also tonkotsu. I have one that begins with an A. What is it? Begins with an A. Uh, something. It was the type of ramen. The pork was cold, but the broth was hot. And then they mixed together and eventually the pork became warm. And it's like chunks of pork. It was in Tokyo. I have no idea. Yeah, no. Oh. Sorry, I just completely threw you off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> useless information. What would you uh, like to bring back to your country? Like, if you could, like a tangible thing or intangible thing? I'm being really impressed with the kindness of people. Yeah. Oh. So I wish, like also in my country, I do like the comparison most of the time. Uh -huh. And I think if I would be in Italy, how people would react. Oh. Even like at the train station or like in the highway, I go highway like... Uh, from one place to another like last week and they just so kind they like you know they see you and they just respect you, you know? it's like in Italy doesn't sometimes it doesn't really happen everywhere really? and people like here they smile and they they friendly so friendly they're shy maybe yeah but uh, this is not like a problem I mean it's uh, oh, it's different but I would probably bring the kindness back with me yeah like, it's a big sense of community uh, oh. yeah. yeah i'm so glad to hear that yeah. yeah um in terms of like even sometimes when you're paying and you don't get the cash right and they and they will correct you you know or if you leave money on the table or if you leave something they will like bend their back back or break their back backwards to try and give you a back you know um I don't know, just honest, kind, in a sense of community. I, I would say the same. Oh, yeah, those are really good values to bring back. Oh, great. Not saying that England doesn't have them, but it's just more evident out here. Yeah. You know, I see it a lot it more is, often. It's a lot and it's more often, yeah. yeah. So it is very nice to see and to appreciate. But maybe that's just because we're tourists, you know, we're like, no. we say hello and then find No, out like I've seen it, I've been living with my friend and the, mm. the family and... True. I've been experienced a little bit like with the local because I like to uh, experience with locals and meet the locals even there's right, like right, a, right. A barriers with the language I mean you still understand each other it's just yeah amazing finally what kind of message you would say to our viewers like who are watching and maybe considering visiting Japan definitely do it because it's a it's a magical world it's a very different the sense of culture out here um, and you'll really enjoy it it's just beautiful and uh, I really enjoy the people and the views and uh, the landscapes even like outside of the cities and the chance you have like to even have a walk or like going the river. I just really like the, the sense of it, like the vibration that, the, that Japan gives you. Yeah. yeah. Just bring lots of money. <laughs> For food. Yeah. To enjoy. Because uh, okay. <laughs> you always like, need to try new food. Yeah. Well, yeah. By the way, did you go up there to the castle? No. no. We didn't enter. Uh -huh. We've yeah. been outside. Yeah. Good time. Yeah, yeah time. it's beautiful. Okay. How can you not? This place is yeah. lovely. Oh. Yeah, just look at the water. It's crystal right. blue around it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking. No worries. Yeah. Thank it you. Was so fun to talk. Yeah, you too. Thank you, same. Yeah, Lovely great. to meet you. <laughs>